party popper things. They work pretty well as something that you can get students to investigate. And from just measuring the height to which they jump, you can actually work out really quite a lot of things. Assuming that you, they jump about one and a half meters, if you use v squared equals u squared plus 2as, and you assume that they're rising up and the acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity, you can then work out their initial speed at which they must have left the bench. You can then find the acceleration of the popper as it returns to its original shape because it's obviously um, going from that to that in a very short time. So if you assume that the distance it moves is it, it, the radius of this, so in there I put it at 1.25 centimeters, you can then, using the same equation, work out that the acceleration, as it changes from that shape to that shape, must be it's over 1,000 meters per second squared. And then from that, you can work out the time over which that happens. And it turns out to be 0 0.0046 seconds, so roughly 0 0.005. And that's something you can do from just one measurement, so measuring the height to which the popper jumps.